Um, so I think um, I will present my screen and then so I I hope you're able to see my screen right yes okay so thank you um so uh, we we we're going to learn about um, Apache superset um, today and um, um, so Apache superset is um, it's an open source um, an alternative to Tableau or Luca or Power BI and um, other intelligent softwares so uh, the superset um, allows us to do this visualization of our data and we can also do query of um, different visualizations that we want to um, do for our data. So um, superset uh, started as a project at uh, the Air, Airbnb to serve, um, uh, to serve an open source and fully customized application that was just used for visualization and to explore huge sets of um, uh, huge sets of data or huge volumes of data so apache superset is fast it is a uh, lightweight it is intuitive and um, it is loaded with a range of simple line charts and um, highly detailed geospatial um, geospatial charts so um we can you can use apache superset so that we can we are able to visualize any database um, we can use it with any database and we can also do any kind of visualization for a given set of data so um, Apache superset was um, um, produced so that it can be able to solve um, a given number of problems so the first problem that uh, um, Apache Superset was meant to solve is to enable uh, data access for the users at various levels of data literacy in terms of um, SQL knowledge. So um, if you have an SQL knowledge, you um, are able to access your data um, given any, given that you, um, you have an SQL knowledge. The next challenge that it was meant to solve was um, the challenge of exploring and arriving at insights from data. So um, after having our data, uh, are we able to um, explore explore the, the given data and get insights from, um, uh, from the data? So Apache Superset was um, um, uh, a good platform that um, enabled um, was a good tool that enabled some enabled someone to actually uh, explore their data and um, get given insights um, okay. okay i'm sorry for that um the solution, um, uh, Superset is um, uh, a data exploration and visualization platform, and it is designed to um, for, for someone to be able to query, uh, to query a given uh, data set uh, or a given uh, amount of data from maybe the database that you have, and you're able to uh, visualize, uh, get some intuition, and also to interact with uh, to interact with uh, the data. Um, so um, it is um, to interact with the data. It consists of two primary um, interfaces, and the two primary interfaces that the superset has is the rich SQL IDE and also a data exploration interface. So the rich uh, the rich SQL interface, um, the rich SQL IDE, uh, enables fast and flexible access of the data. Um, uh, the rich SQL IDE, someone is able to um, someone is able to actually 
get uh, access of data and you're able to query uh, the given data that you have so that um, you can access a given amount of data that you want or a particular sets of data that you want from your given database. And then um, data exploration interface. Uh, that interface just enables you to convert your data tables into rich visualization insights where you're able to get um, given maybe say if you you want to given charts of um, the, the data that you have um, selected or you want to produce given graphs of uh, that uh, of the given uh, data data that you have you, you are querying so um, those solutions um, en enable um, the solutions that came up enable um, this tool called the superset to be used and then we have um, uh, how, how did it how did uh, how did apache superset uh, evolve so um so so that is how um the apache superset was uh was um was evolved uh, how they were able to come up with the apache superset so you realize that mainly it came up so that it is able to solve two two challenges um and that is uh data access and also exploration of data getting insights quick insights of um, of, of the data so um some of the features that apache superset has it uh, it is powerful and it is easy to use um quickly and easily someone can integrate and explore a given data uh, by just querying a particular amount of data that you want and then after querying you're able to um, get uh, insights from that given data by um, by by vi visualizing uh, that given data so you can either use simple no code um, vi vi visualization this builder or a state of art that is uh, the SQL ID so that you are able to actually um, you are able to quickly and easily integrate and explore your your data another thing is that it um, integrates with modern modern um, modern databases so the superset can connect to any SQL based um, data source through SQL alchemy um, including modern cloud uh, native databases and uh, engines at um, petabyte scale so you realize that uh, uh, the integration with modern databases you can you are able to integrate with uh, things like uh, cloud platforms like um, um, Athena you're able to use AWS um, features so that you can be able to access your data from a given cloud platform so that you you can integrate it together with Apache so that you you're able just to use it so um it uh, enables you to integrate with modern databases another thing it has a modern architecture uh the architecture of um the architecture of apache is built with um um, um python so superset is um um superset is actually a lightweight and it is uh also highly scalable uh, leveraging the power of the existing data infrastructure without requiring another in ingestion layer so the layer in which the the superset is built is is quite uh, lightweight because it is just built with uh, python so um it doesn't it doesn't consume much of the power in terms of um um the power that that is involved in terms of your uh, uh you tasking your machine a lot so it is it is lightweight and then also it has um rich rich vi visualizations and uh dashboards so the superset 
actually you're able to ship a wide range of beautiful uh, visualizations. So the visualizations plugin architecture makes it easy so that one, one is able to actually build custom visualizations that drop directly into, into the superset. So, so um, it has uh, a number of um, visualizations and the dashboard actually it's easy to, um, to manipulate through so that um, you're, you're able to get the insights that you need from your, your given data. So it is rich in the different visualizations that we can have, including um, a lot of mappings that you can do for um, your, um, your given data set that you have. And you're also able to query quite fast and do uh, quick visualizations of the different queries of data that you have. So we um, are able to see um, the architecture also of um, the architecture of uh, of the superset. Um, the reason why it is uh, it is lightweight, it, it it just it has two um, uh, ECMA six ES six that is JavaScript for uh, the front end, and for the back end it is using Python. That is Flask, Pandas, SQL, Alchemy, um, um, many many utilities many utility libraries uh, like the SQL pass and things like that. So uh, even as you can see from the back end, it is not quite complicated and it doesn't um, require a lot of resources so that you're able to like actually run. That's why the superset is actually um, lightweight. And then for the front end, um, we have React or Redux, and then we have Webpack. Uh, we have broken um, broken down many uh, packages like the superset, user interface, and then we have the data inter uh, the user interface um, that um, one can easily use. So that is the composition of um, um, or the architecture of uh, the Apache superset. <clears throat> yeah, and we are able to see like we have um uh how how the the the, the architect the architecture of uh, this superset of the apache superset is built um we have sql we have a lot of superset salary that we can be used can be used here we have uh redis all integrating together and then yeah then is when we have now this is part for the back end and then we have now the part of the the front end where we just use um, JavaScript for the front end. So what are the key features of Apache Superset? Um, it is intuitive. Uh, it, it, uh, it has an intu intuitive um, interface with a wide array of beautiful uh, visualizations to explore and to visualize the data set that we have. So we are able to actually uh, visualize um, and get a lot of um, insights from um, a given or a particular data set from uh, the charts. We, we are able to do actually time series um, charts so that we are able to see uh, for a given time series data, we are able to uh, visualize and come up with uh, some intuition from that given data. And then it is also custom, it has customized um, uh, plugins for um, visualizing or vis visualizations, which um, help, um, uh, which helps so that you are able to actually um, get different kinds of plugins into the superset so that uh, you, you are just able to use them. And then it has uh, an easy workflow, an easy workflow whereby um, it is not quite complicated in terms of you following um, or being able to uh, walk through uh, whatever is uh, required or being done in, a, um, uh, in terms of 
creating a visualization out of any result or any set of um, data that you have. And then um, it has uh, an extensible high granularity security model that um, and, and support for integration with major authentication uh, backends. So um, the security model is high, highly granularized, and then it is extensible and um, support for integration with uh, major authentication backends. And then out of the box support for most SQL speaking databases. Um, and then it has a, a deep integration with Apache Breed that allows for, for the superset. And then fast loading of dashboard with uh, configuration caching, and then support to uh, schedule reports directly to the emails. So Apache superset, uh, one, one is actually able to um, send reports directly to, uh, to emails um, after maybe you are able to uh, do a few data visualizations here and there, you're able to send those reports directly to uh, the emails. So those are the key features uh, of um, Apache um, of, of, of Superset. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure if maybe someone could have a question. Uh, on Apache Superset. Do, do we have anyone with a question on Apache Superset? Okay, so um, for, thank you, Tadese. So uh, for um, want to use Apache Superset in, um, want to use Apache Superset, uh, you have to install Apache Superset either with uh, Docker or you can create a virtual environment whereby you are able to um, install Apache Superset and um, use it. So I think I'll share with us a little bit of a few resources in which we can be able to use um, in um, in creating or um, in using, being able to use Apache Superset. So just a minute. So um, I think I think we um, for those who are able, you can get to that GitHub link uh, for Apache Superset, so that uh, you're able to go through um, uh, the documentation for um, setting up Apache Superset, uh, the databases that um, the databases that are supported with. Um, superset, uh, including maybe Amazon, uh, that is AWS, Amazon AWS Redshift, um, BigQuery, we have Snowflake, we have Prestro, um, MySQL, we have Oracle, um, and uh, many others, um, including even the SQL uh, uh, server that you are able to, uh, is, is supported with um, the um, Apache Superset. So Superset is able to actually query data from SQL speaking data store or data engines. That is Presto, Trino, Athena, and more um, like that. So um, for um, for uh, installation and uh, configuration of uh, 
of a purchase per set. Um, you, you can use Docker uh, so that you are able to uh, have a, a superset or a purchase per set installed in your machine. Or the alternative is you can create a virtual environment uh, whereby after creating that virtual environment, you, you now use, uh, you activate that, uh, uh, you activate that virtual environment. After activating that virtual environment, you then, um, you then now just get to pip install, um, pip install uh, a purchase super set. Um, and then after the pip install a purchase super set, then you can now uh, create a, a dashboard for, um, you can now create a dashboard for your, uh, for your super set uh, locally in your machine. So, Um, okay, as I do this, who, who, who has a question on maybe a purchase per set? Yes, Daisy. Um, maybe you mentioned that there's alternative to set up a batch of airflow through docker and also through the environment um which one is best recommended for you to okay so um um the best recommended would be uh, for you to create your own um by creating by creating a, a virtual environment and then uh, just uh, just creating everything from scratch, whereby you're able to um, make your own your own specifications of, uh, of of what you want from um, from it. Um, other than, but it also depends with um, the operating system that you're using. Um, for those who have uh maybe linux um uh you can use um docker if you if if you're familiar whatever whatever is easier for you if you are comfortable with docker um then uh, you can use docker uh but i think i prefer maybe for someone to create a virtual environment and set up everything from uh from scratch yeah, I, I, I think I prefer that one. Does that answer your question, Daisy? No, yes, yes, it does. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay, so let me unshare and then I share my screen again.
So we can have maybe our um, our environments ready as we try and go through this. Maybe to create um, where you can set up your uh, Apache, where you can set up your Apache superset. Just a minute. So are you able to see my screen again? Okay, so thank you, that's fine. So, um, so we'll try and create maybe a virtual environment, uh, and then, um, and then we see how to install Superset. Um, Okay. A minute as that comes up. <clears throat> So, um, so we'll try and create a, um, a virtual environment here. Um, So, so even as we do this, I think maybe um, we can also try and work in our machines and then we uh, see if anyone gets um, a problem in um, in um, creating or how to work with um, Apache Superset. So are we all able to maybe get to our machines and uh, create a a virtual environment. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so thank you, Daisy. Uh, so, <clears throat> so um, after, after you've been able to create your virtual environment, just um, activate. Um, just activate that virtual environment that you have. Are we all able to do that? So, um, so after after you've been able to create and activate your your virtual environment, you will run um, um, you you will now install um, you will now get to install your uh, Apache superset. Um, I'll just give us the command here. Um, it install Apache superset. So for me, I've already installed the Apache Superset. So, <clears throat> um, let me know if everyone is able to install Apache Superset in their machine. Okay. Uh, it may take some time to install, so you just give it some time.
So was, I, was anyone able to finish uh, the installation? Okay, what, what about the others? Um, anyone who got any problem with the installation? So, okay. Um, so after you have um, been able to install, um, okay, okay, days. After you've been able to install your um, your Apache per set, uh, then you will run the command to upgrade the database, and then you. Um, um, open up some a flask app and then you create an admin for uh, uh, the dashboard that you want to create so um we will run this uh, command let me just give us um So you will run that given uh, command. A minute, sort of this. <clears throat> Let, let me know if you have been able to run this uh, uh, command successfully. But let me just sort out this issue first.
Uh, was it was any one of you able to run successfully? Um, did the upgrade? Okay, um, so um, after you've been able to run that successfully, um, then you can go ahead and <clears throat> um, run the command to create a Flask app, to export a, a Flask app, and then we will name it Superset. So you can just go ahead and do this command. Um, <clears throat> So um, after that, <clears throat> um, you will use uh, this command to create um, Um, I'm not sure if, if, if this one will work for you, but you can try it out. If it, if it doesn't work, I'll give you the other one that can work. <clears throat> Um, is on. Uh, or you can use this one. Um,
Okay. So um. So if maybe you've been able to run this and you're able to create your admin. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, so um, just why I was saying that uh, after 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 you have done your DB upgrade, uh, you will now create uh, the Flask Cup, export Flask Cup, and then you give it. So if you have been able to um, successfully create your uh, app, um, then you can go ahead and now interact with it in, um, um, yeah, try just and uh, do some query, get some data, do some query a little bit and see how uh, the superset works. I'm not sure if I have been talking alone, uh, but uh, as I was saying that um, the port should be 8080 localhost. So if, if you are having any problem in terms of your installation, I've given um, I've given here um, I've given a link there where you can also be able to follow so that um, you can refer to that as you create uh, your first dashboard and try and interact with, with it. So I think I'll give also this another
and a reference that you can use. So, uh, just try and uh, interact with uh, the platform and see how you're able to do query and visualize um, yeah, some few data that you have that you provided for and see how uh, Superset actually works. Yeah. So um, maybe if, uh, if there's none with another question, I think we have another tutorial coming up in Um, in a few minutes. So, um, yeah, I would say that will be that in terms of Apache Superset. Um, yeah, if, do we, do we have anyone with maybe a question or so? And then maybe um, we can see how maybe we can end the class. <laughs>